Part 3 The Nine Laws of Conscious Creation How to Optimize, Amplify, and Accelerate Belief Breakthrough To manifest means to turn your thoughts that are in alignment with the laws of nature and your purpose into physical reality. As powerful as belief breakthrough work is, it's not the complete package of what you need to manifest your ideal life. Belief breakthrough works in conjunction with the nine laws of conscious creation. Belief breakthrough is the methodology by which we purge negativity and purify our minds and emotions. The more belief breakthrough work we do, the more powerfully we can apply the laws of conscious creation to dramatically boost our results. The laws of conscious creation are the context in which we apply belief breakthrough. The laws are the engine. Belief breakthrough is the fuel. The nine laws are as follows. The law of attraction. The law of alignment. The law of choice and accountability. The law of gestation. The law of faith. The law of the harvest. The law of purpose. The law of intuition. The law of connection. Belief breakthrough work is all about the law of alignment, which is one of the hardest laws to apply at its deepest and purest levels. Its importance cannot be overestimated. The belief breakthrough process is the how-to of this law. Now you're going to learn the remaining laws and how all of them fit together to manifest the life you want. Once you understand the nine laws, I'll reveal a formula for leveraging them to manifest breakthrough results in your life. Chapter 12 The Law of Attraction Like attracts like. We attract into our lives the people, things, situations, and experiences that match our deepest beliefs and thoughts. We attract what we think about most. Our dominant and persistent thoughts eventually manifest as physical reality. All sages and wise men and women through the ages have taught us the power of our thoughts. In Proverbs, Solomon taught, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The Buddha said simply, What you think, you become. James Allen says it more poetically in his classic, as a man thinketh. Man is made or unmade by himself. In the armory of thought he forges the weapons by which he destroys himself. He also fashions the tools with which he builds for himself heavenly mansions of joy and strength and peace. By the right choice and true application of thought, man ascends to his divine perfection. By the abuse and wrong application of thought, he descends below the level of the beast. Between these two extremes are all the grades of character, and man is their maker and master. Thoughts are not inert or impotent abstractions. Thoughts are things, and they manifest in our external world. Our thoughts are far more powerful than most of us understand. All of our success, or lack thereof, is predicated on the quality of our thoughts. As Emerson wrote, great men are those who see that thoughts rule the world. In his popular book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill taught that our brains become magnetized with the dominating thoughts which we hold in our minds. And by means with which no man is familiar, these magnets attract to us the forces, the people, the circumstances of life which harmonize with the nature of our dominating thoughts. Norman Vincent Peale added in The Power of Positive Thinking, the person who sends out positive thoughts activates the world around him positively and draws back to himself positive results. In other words, what we focus on grows. The law of attraction can either work to our benefit or to our detriment. A lifetime of negative thinking will manifest negative results. Likewise, the more positive our thinking, the more positive our results. Successful thinking catalyzes successful actions. 
nothing is more important than choosing the thoughts we entertain and cultivate. The law of attraction fails to have power for most people because they're not clear on what they want. They focus more on what they don't want than on what they do want. Ask people what they want and they'll usually start detailing everything they don't want. I'm sick of living paycheck to paycheck. I'm tired of my loveless marriage. I hate my job. And because this is what they focus on most, they continue receiving exactly what they say they don't want. As James Allen wrote, You are today where your thoughts have brought you. You will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. Unfortunately, most people are largely unconscious of their thoughts. Their minds run on autopilot. They're careless about what they allow to enter their minds. They passively watch TV and movies, listen to music, surf the internet, and hang out with negative people without understanding the impact all these things have on their lives. In this unconscious state, people are essentially powerless to change their reality. They're sleepwalking through life. They're captives of the media and circumstances. Furthermore, all of these actions program them to continue getting more of what they don't want. To change our lives, we have to start not on our physical reality, but on our intangible thoughts. For as Albert Einstein said, the world we have created is a product of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. How the Law of Attraction and Belief Breakthrough Work Together Our core beliefs from childhood are our most dominant, persistent thoughts. In fact, they are so dominant that they have been embedded into our subconscious mind, where they influence us on a daily and even momentary basis, whether we realize it or not. All of our life's results are based on these core beliefs. Using the law of attraction with belief breakthrough work helps us to change our dominant, persistent thoughts by changing our beliefs. The more powerful our core beliefs are, the more powerful our daily thoughts become and the more we are able to attract into our lives. Case Study Amanda M. Heals Chronic Illness Amanda tried to use the law of attraction to heal a chronic illness. When nothing happened, she concluded that it didn't really work. But she was missing critical information, which she discovered at a limitless event in September 2016. Here is her story in her own words. I was sexually abused by several men from the age of 2 until 20. I was a happy, shining, energetic child. I wanted attention and I wanted to be involved. My mother said people were enamored by me. Unfortunately, something about me seemed to attract the wrong kind of attention. Because of the abuse, I adopted the belief, I attract evil when I am in my brilliance. I felt like I had to become unattractive. To do that, I developed a mystery chronic illness at the age of eight. I experienced debilitating migraines where I couldn't even see. My vision would go black. Sometimes I would lose my hearing and everything would sound like I was standing under a waterfall. These episodes could be triggered by anything. A vacuum, trash compactor, a light switch being turned on. They would last for two or three days. By the age of 10, I could hardly stand on my own. I couldn't attend my 11th birthday party. I stayed in a back room and could hear that people had arrived and were talking and having fun, but I was in too much pain to come out. I went to several doctors and took a lot of tests, and none of them could figure out what was wrong with me. I lived like this for about 20 years before discovering the law of attraction. When I learned it, I was excited. I really believed it would work. So I started focusing on the thought, I don't want to be sick. I ran this through my head all the time. But when nothing happened and my pain remained the same, I felt dejected. I thought either the law didn't work or I was doing it wrong. Several years later, my daughter was born. 
Her pregnancy triggered many more deep symptoms for me. I became so sick I was bedridden. I couldn't even take care of myself and didn't have the energy to bathe regularly. I became really bitter. I thought, I've had my turn being sick. Why does this keep coming back? I was barely surviving as a wife and mother. I basically gave up. I had a pulse, but I wasn't really living. A friend gave me tickets to a limitless event. At the event, we talked about the law of attraction and how we attract what we focus on the most. What I hadn't realized before was that I had been focusing on what I didn't want, not what I actually wanted. I kept saying, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. I didn't realize I was really cementing it inside myself. Of course I kept getting more of it. I further realized that I had put on a sick suit. I had been using my illness as a protection against my deep childhood wounds from the abuse. It was my way to check out. I had been to years of counseling, but this was my first realization of what I had been doing. Along with my belief that I attract evil in my brilliance, I also uncovered a belief that I'm powerless. I changed both of those beliefs when I realized that I get to choose. I have power over my experience. I had been passively waiting for the law of attraction to just bring something to me, but I could make it happen for myself. I made the decision at the event that I was done with being sick and miserable. I chose to release my beliefs and symptoms and to become healthy. I woke up the next morning pain-free and energetic for the first time in as long as I can remember. Since then, I've used a lot of visualization. As a child, I had a super active imagination, but I lost it as I aged. I brought that back and began imagining myself healthy and free. I envisioned dancing, being strong, and stepping into my power. It's all manifesting so much faster than I ever thought possible. It's been like switching on a light. I feel like me again. I've had minor symptoms since then, but they no longer control my life, and I'm able to work through them and relieve them. The law of attraction really works. All I had to do was choose differently. Take action and apply the law of attraction. Write down the top three things you want to attract in the areas of health, wealth, connection, and power. Write or print out your list and post it in conspicuous places throughout your house where you'll see it every day. Here are some selected quotes on the topic discussed in this chapter. The human brain emits frequencies, which when focused are picked up by other human brains and passed through the ether to affect other physical matter. Thomas Edison Our lives seem so muddled because we keep walking into scenes in which we, along with the people around us, have no clear idea what we want. Donald Miller To create power is like a magnet. This is true because this creative power operates like a magnet. Give it a strong, clear picture of what you want and this creative power starts to work magnetizing conditions about you, attracting to you the things, resources, opportunities, circumstances, and even the people you need to help bring to pass in your outer life what you have pictured. Claude M. Bristol